en los White Hill. Go, go, go. Your sister said he was building an army. We can thank Mira, it's not larger. But we'll lose if we go up against that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan! Fuck! Crossbows up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> Are you here to sue for peace, Lord Whitehill? Hmm. Lay down your arms, and I'll spare your lives. <laughs> That's very funny. I've missed your unique sense of humor. But no. I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or, we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. You put too much stock in Ramsay's terms, Lord. Terms set by a madman. Terms that I never agreed to. You really think Lord Ramsay will ask if you're in favor of his terms? before flaying you alive for breaking them. Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine for all to see by wedding my Gwyn. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't! And if I tell you to go fuck yourself? <laughs> Look at my fucking army! If you want to die, I'm more than happy to oblige! I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Hmm. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <clears throat> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. A surprisingly honorable gesture, lord. Of course it was. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. Cabrón, este barbú esqueroso. Está hecho candela, seguro. I'm sorry, little brother.
I've buried too many sons. Maester, take my brother's body. He will join Father and Ethan in the grove. As you say, my lord. But... Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I can't bow my head to the fucking White Hills after all they've done. I may have loved Gwyn, but... No. No, not like this. Even if we accepted, I somehow doubt Lud would keep you alive once Gwyn's produced an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asha. Aye, piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. Aye. We ride for war! We ride! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But we just don't have the numbers. Unless we take them on our terms, inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. We simply need a ruse to separate him from his army. To get him alone, and feeling safe. And there's one way to do that. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? Then an ambush. Your pit fighters strike from the shadows. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. A woman's weapon. Yes, and a good one. Lethal and direct. Either plan is a high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. I'll be there, Royland. I'll pour the wine myself. I understand the risks. But an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Then we have a plan. Better move. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. <laughs> we will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lud. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. She's left the keep! Search the area! Lady Mira. There she is. Take her. What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. D don't you know who this is? It doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. 
sobornos policiales. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mary? Media, vale. The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Minor trouble, Lord Morgren. Nothing I can't deal with. Of course, I never doubted that. Although those guards did seem quite intent on dragging you off. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oaf. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms, the Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Getting that decree from Tyrion's chambers I still wonder how you managed such a feat. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. <laughs> That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Oh, the old. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. I knew it. I never should have trusted you. Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That might have been your only mistake. But a costly one. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. I have powerful allies. One word to Cersei, and you'll be in the cell next to Andros. You're mistaken, Mira Forrester. No one is coming to your aid. Eh, que me machuca la cabeza. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Luca, fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. She'll have your head! Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Cabrón. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animals. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his okay. bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironrath knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Jocera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. 
We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. <clears throat> it must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. It wasn't easy. I had to break my vows to the Night's Watch. We barely made it. Not many survive this far north of the Wall. But you're here. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrod. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befasta. Ya. You fought well, for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. You fought well yourself. Or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. To 
you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. There's something off about them. I'm not sure what. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. Are you alright? You don't look well. It's nothing. I'm fine. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Bisonir. Did you not hear me? Fulgorn! Sona! <laughs> yeah. What? Wait! Fulgorn Bisonir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the Wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Que cara mierda tiene. Ugh, disgusting. Mira rato, nena. Oh, rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Podremos escapar o qué? Sangre. Oh, looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. Oh God! Those are human teeth. Oh, no, but I feel. I Jailer, please. Shut it! Please come here!
Hey, get away from there. Jayla! Jayla, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want, then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Qué, qué loca. Bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the father, whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offense. But we have to keep our heads held high, even when everything else is taken from us. I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing, just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. Hay que escaparse. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Hmm. Veremos a ver. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. <laughs> I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. You never know when that might come in handy. And then I realized... There's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Hmm. Hijo puta. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. My family would never allow it. If you go anywhere near Forester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. No I see no? you're already learning when to be silent. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. 
You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? <laughs> 